Hey, how is it going guys? I'm all smiles because this is my first day out of quarantine. I just got back from directing a film for CNN Films. So I've been stuck indoors for two weeks straight. It's my first fresh air I've seen in a long time. But today we are talking about shooting your films. Like what actually to shoot? What is the smartest footage you should shoot to make the best film possible? And I'm gonna break this down into real simple steps. This is actually what we think when we're going out to shot list and when we're creating our films. So let's talk about those points. Okay, let's break this down real simply. There's three things you want in your film. Information, scenes, and B-roll. What do I mean by each one of those? Well, information, this is your interviews. This is your character talking. This is their voice. This is really important for the film. But this is where a lot of people just stop with the documentary. They go shoot an interview, then some random B-roll. And honestly, their film just feels like a bit of a podcast with some cool shots alongside it. You need the second thing, which is scenes, complete moments, little moments with a beginning, middle and end with your character where we get to see them journeying towards their goal, the thing they want and working towards the goal that they're talking about in the film, the desire, the thing they want. You wanna have a character who wants something, this is more interesting. You can just do a character study, but someone who you know has maybe a special talent or skill, but you usually can only make that film a couple minutes long or else it gets boring if your person doesn't have goals. Then lastly, so we have information, we have scenes, and B-roll. This is probably what your favorite YouTuber told you the only thing you need is really great, exciting B-roll. Banger shots. Banger shots. No matter what film you're shooting, you're gonna need B-roll. Yeah, this is awkward. Yes, you want good B-roll, but you can't just shoot nice B-roll or else your film will feel aimless. It won't feel like it has a purpose. So to recap that, information, good interviews, scenes, little moments that have a beginning, middle and end, and then your nice B-roll, you know, your aerial shots or the shots of textures. Just like that, there's a B-roll of the tree, but it has no purpose except that I'm walking in this alley. You want to have those scenes. And we use these techniques on all of our films, whether it's No Country's an Island or Battleground, or take, for example, Michael, my creative partner, his latest film, His Name is Ray, which is about a homeless person here in Toronto. He made sure that this film was chock full of scenes so we could experience this person's life. And what's really exciting about His Name is Ray is it's getting a theatrical release at the Hot Doc Cinema, which is the biggest documentary cinema in the world, part of one of the biggest documentary festivals in the world. So these are the techniques Michael used in that film, and I wanna show you a little scene from that right now. I'm devastated seeing this. He, he just trashed it. It was like, it was nice and clean and everything. We, haven't had, we even had cedar flooring <laughs> inside here. It's all set up all through here where the flat spot you see here. It was all set up nice and, I don't know. This tent's garbage. But it's tattered into shreds now. One of my things I got out of my boat I saved. Yeah, these are the down times of being on the street, eh? When stuff like this happens. And unfortunately, this guy here's got mental issues and he's a lunatic. And like I said, we do this for all our films. Actually, let's go talk to Michael about this. Mikey, buddy. Yo, congrats, man. Thank there you. There it is, theatrical release for His Name is Ray. Yeah, finally. You're gonna add another poster to the room. Yes. Yeah, Yeah. it's been a long, long journey. Yeah, what is that? When did you first start filming? Three years ago. Three years three ago, year, wow. 2000, eight, End of March 2018 and uh, finished it September, finished shooting September 2018 and it's taken this long to, to find go. a home for it. If you wanna make a feature documentary, Michael's made four of them. It, it takes years, yeah. it takes years. But yeah. Mike, what was your kind of like unique approach? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, talking today about scenes, how did you approach His Name is Ray? 
Well, what excited me was Ray lived like 10 minutes from me. So a lot of my films, I'd fly to Africa, you'd go to Michigan, and you were limited to the access you had with the character. So the approach here was really, the character lived literally a, a, a short drive. My wife would drop me off, I'd take an Uber, and I would be there. I'd be there for the drama. And that's rare in documentaries. So many times you have to rely on interviews and whatnot. But for me, the approach was really, I want to immerse myself with this guy. I think I shot 30, 35 days with him. So a few days a month and something was always happening. There was always drama. There was always tension. There was always, you know, something he was trying to, to solve. And it just made for a great cinematic experience, really. We can't wait to re release the film worldwide. It's available right now in Canada on April 22nd on yes. Hot Docs. Yes. Hot Docs CA? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, we'll put the link on there. But yeah. yeah, if you're in Canada, we'd love your support. There's going to be a great Q&A with me and the uh, couple filmmakers. And uh, yeah, really appreciate your support. But yeah, go check out the film. The link is below. And give Michael a big congrats. You can check him out at mfilms.ca. I'll put your yeah, yeah, all the stuff it. down below. By the way, we just hit 100K. <laughs> that rhymes. Didn't mean to do that. Thank you. I'm not going to do some big long speech, but I just wanted to thank you guys because, you know, I guess it was about two years ago that I started this channel. I, I don't know. I thought it was only going to last a month or two. I didn't think anyone was going to care about what I had to say about directing and about filmmaking. But you guys have been just so encouraging and it kept me going. You've been so articulate with what you like about this channel. And you've helped me create this community and this amazing like-minded group of filmmakers or people who just want to talk about life. I really appreciate it. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. This 100K is yours as much as it is mine. And if you're just joining this channel, welcome. We have a long ways to go. I don't aspire to hit a million subscribers or anything like that. I just want to keep making good films and getting to do this journey with people like yourself. So thank you so much. We did it, 100K. There you go, guys. Just to recap that. Don't only shoot interviews, don't only shoot B-roll, but also shoot moments where we see the character living. Like I said, even if it's just them making a sandwich, we need to see them out of that chair in your film. Get them living a little bit of life. Hope you like this video. I'll be posting one about sound soon and doing stuff about lighting, getting some more into technical, but always leave a comment if there's video ideas you want me to cover. See you guys in the next one.